Hey everybody, this is Green Star Clover. In the last episode, we got done with the Golden Sculptulus that was around the area. In this episode, we are going to do a little more side quests. One of the side quests that we're doing right now is pretty much talking to Skull... I mean, ugh, Skull Kid right here. But with our Skull Mask. So let's go over there and talk to him. <coughs> <laughs> Under that mask, aren't you that kid? What kid? You mean one of those people kids? Quite an unusual mask you have there. <laughs> I like it. It may look bleh. it may make me look a little bit tougher. That's what I was gonna say. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Well, give me a profit. Come on. What's up? I'm gonna wear this all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it. Okay, that's enough. He just gave you 10 rubies for this 20 ruby mask. You lost money of that deal. Yeah, pretty much. Well, 10 profit. It's okay. Go back to the mask shop and pay 20 rubies. Yeah, it's gonna come out of my pocket. Yep, yep, yep. So, we're not gonna go to the mask shop. We're gonna go to a certain place. I'll meet you guys. That Well, it's gonna be at the side quest. So, I'll meet you guys at Zoro's Domain. So, I'll see you there, guys. And I'm back in pretty much. Uh, what am I see? In oh my gosh, that was just horrible. What you gotta do with this kind of quest? Um, <clears throat> you got to do a certain thing. I mean, I can't believe I forgot this. It's just horribly, and it's not like me. I always never forget this one. Pretty much, what you really need right now is these good-looking Deku sticks. Get them on fire with this torch and go all the way down right here to that torch. That torch will actually be lit for forever, pretty much. So you can, like, restock the fire in the stick. But right now, you want to take the stick. All... Not talk to the sign. Jeez Louise, man. Come on. To that fire. Under... Yeah. I, I actually found out that you could roll on water with a stick on fire. And it will still not burn out. It's pretty funny. So, after that, we get our treasure chest that I permanently messed up in. Oh my gosh, it's on fire. That's hilarious. Well, we'll take that out and open this chest. You got a heart piece. Yeah, we got another one of these heart pieces. Yeah, they're going to be very helpful. Um, I think we're... That's only... The second one, or second heart piece, but nevertheless, that's probably, we're pretty much, oh gosh, why am I diving that low? Um, that's pretty much the last heart piece you're gonna get, and get, so, uh, I mean, not, what am I saying the last heart piece? The last heart piece! No, not piece, but the heart, oh gosh, I can't say what I'm saying, this is fail. Um, pretty much it's the last heart piece in, on, Zara's domain. So right now we want to talk to this scarecrow right here. So let's talk to him. I'm Barjo, or I think that's his name. The scarecrow music genius. I hear the song once and I never forgive it, baby. Why do you call me baby? So he is pretty much the knowledge on the music part. So he will actually memorize the piece for you soon later in the future so we're gonna do that right now so we get our ocarina and he says whoa what a ocarina hey why don't you lay the tune on me with it baby stop calling me baby so pretty much what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do left up down well pretty much all over so all c's by i'm starting with my left so left up right down and keep and it repeats just repeats well, not bad. I will remember that. Um, anyway, so... He will remember it. All these eight notes. And it's gonna be helpful in the future. I don't want to spoil it. I know I'm... 
trying, I'm trying to hold in what it is, but it will help you on your future quest. But just remember that tune, or if you're playing this, uh, remember your tune on that, because that is going to be very useful, and trust me, it's, it's probably easy or hard to memorize, but that's usually what I do, in, is doing that. So we go to this place in this joint. Yeah, two smoke joints tonight. No, no, I'm not seeing that song. Fish fun! We fish here. The fish are really biting today. That's what I was supposed to say. Oh my gosh. Can't talk today. This is fail. Almost. <laughs> well, do you have to go fishing for 20 rupees? Yes. Oh, no, you don't have a rope pack. With the rope pack, you can feel the vibration of fish on your hook. Well, this is pretty much the new feature on the Rumble Pack. The Rumble Pack is when, you, if you had a Rumble Pack on your Tando 64, I'm, I'm hoping this is what it is. I'm not positive for the other one for the Wii part, because I'm not playing this with the Wii, I'm playing this with the Nintendo 64. Yeah, the old generation. And, and the Rumble Pack will help you, I mean, it will... <laughs> it will actually catch the fish. As you, oh, no, I'm not just playing this. It, when you th throw the reel in, pretty much your fishing rod, all the way to the fish, and the and the fish is about to bite, you'll feel a vibration, and you'll know that it's gonna get hooked on. Pretty much, you you're catching a fish, and you can actually feel it. But I don't have a rump. Well, I do have a rump pack, but I just don't want to use it because I'm I'm pro like that. So he'll t just say, oh. This time, no rumble for you. Like, like that guy for the soup guy. No soup for you. You know, <laughs> it's funny. Okay, listen up. Walk up into the water edge and press Z and look at the fish. Uh, so pretty much, you can have a good look and a view with the Z, and then cast with B and press A to break the line. And you can lure with A or wiggle like on your tr blah, blah. on your controller stick. And you can also do it with the B. But usually I do the controller stick because it's quite easy. So I know what, if I'm going left and right on B, I think it's just random. Go figure. I, I I don't really know. But anyway, you lure with A, hold down with A, and if you hold on down A and R real faster, pretty much he's just telling you. And if you feel a bite, press A and down at the same time. It doesn't say that, but at the same time, it does help. After a reel, you get a fish, pretty much. So do you understand? Yes, I do. I'm so generous. I let the. F I'm so generous. I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can keep only one fish. Yeah, that's the downside because you only get one fish. And yeah, I wish I could catch more fish, but they only let you catch only one fish. The biggest fish I ever caught here was weigh six pounds. So it's a six pounder, and. For this quest, you need to get at least, uh, I'm thinking at least 10 pounds or more. Um, I think the highest pound is 12 pounds right here as a kid. But don't trust me in that. But pretty much I'll show you a sample how to throw. Oh yes, throw this fishing rod. You just press B, like so, like you said. You can wiggle around left, right. And yeah, I get a fish. I'm hoping this is it. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, this is the pretty much the wait time. You're just waiting for the fish. Uh, he almost looks pri um, looks looks pretty much good fish right here. Yeah, he, it's a big fish and it's taking a long time for me. I don't know. It's a possibility, possibility. But our hopes on this. Come on, let's get some stuff here. Well, it's about six pounds. Downfall! No, I would not keep a six pounder. No! So, yeah. We're looking for about 10 or 11 or 12. More or less, the average is 10 I want to get. So, I'll see you guys when I get this stupid fish. This looks promising, okay. I'll probably say, hey guys, I'm back. I'm hoping this is the fish, guys. Uh, gosh, I'm, I'm hoping. I mean, he looks big. Come on, come on. Drumlow, 
Drum roll. Come on. Come on. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It looks bigger than me. Well, this is a real clunker. Let's see. Wait. 10 11 pounds. Not 10 pounds. Sweet. Sweet sauce. Yes, I'm keeping it. What are you telling me? What are you telling me no for this? Gosh. You know one thing that dance don't like it. I probably said it already. It's when the owls just say, "Do you understand?" and and then on um, the no is on the f the the top part instead of the yes on the bottom part. So it's just like, why would you do that? Well, anyway, let's talk to the guy fella right over here. Well, do you want to weigh? What do you want? Oh, well, that's what he said. What do you want? I want to weigh my fish. Whoa, dude. Like, dude, man, you got a huge fish. It looks like a new record. It's way the least. Wow, 11 pounds, seriously. Okay, here's your prize. And you get a piece of heart. Yeah, you get another of the max or containers. I think it's 10. I'll, I'll check anyway. But you can't leave the shop with your rod, so you got to talk to the guy right over here. What do you want? I wanna quit, man. You know? Quick. I gotta quit. Not quit. What? Oh my gosh. Gosh, I can uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying quit. And then and I'm saying quit. Oh, uh, quit. Oh, not quit. I'm saying quit, but I'm saying qu uh, quick instead of quit. So, yeah, go figure. Huh. Well, I'm pretty much done of the heart, so... We're gonna head to, like, we want to go to the mask shop, but we can't go there, but we have to, because there's apparently a cutscene at, at the castle, so I don't want to ruin it, so I will make a fast swipe, because if you were just heading the high to the, ha um, the castle, I mean, you could do it by foot, but it's gonna take long. Um... I don't like that, so I'm gonna change change it to day. I hate night. I probably said it, but at least I I'm gonna say it again. I hate night. But I love the feature in here. So pretty much, what you gotta do to get make this faster, talk to the owl. You know, I never see what's under here. What's under here? Oh, you're not gonna let me, stupid owl. So let's talk to the owl. What are you doing? You came a long way to keep up here. What the heck is Lick doing? D did you see that, guys? He's like, move on the left side and the right side. It's like a like, potential glitch. Oh, oh. Hey, see? He did it again. See? I'm not I'm not doing that. That's just weird. <laughs> oh, well. Back to the dialogue. You should look at the map screen sometime. Oh, my gosh. I can't even... <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't... I can't... I can't talk while... Like doing that. It's hilarious. Clover! <laughs> oh gosh. Clover, this is a beautiful lake full of pure, clear water. At least the lake bottom is where the water temple. Oh gosh, I, I could get used to it. Using the wish. Um, they used to worship the water spirit in the Zoras. Um, I mean, they used to. Well, you get the thing. They used to worship the water spirit on the water temple. So, yeah, and the Zoras are the guardian of this temple. Hoo <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much. The Zoras is coming to, from Zoras domain at the northeast of Hyrule. That's where we went. Al, we know. The Aqua race, we know that too. And the longtime allies with Hyrule royal family. Okay, that we did not know. I heard that the only royal family of Hyrule can enter the Zoras domain. Hoo hoo. I'm only on the way back to the castle. If you want to go with me, hold on to my little feather, Helen. So. We want to go to the castle, so let's go to the castle, and then, okay, let's, let's make sure we're okay, guys. Come on, come on, Al, you know better. Are you gonna hit me in the rock? I, oh, whoa. Blew me up, over. Okay, okay. Okay, safe landing this time, come on. Well, it's probably not worse, but anyway. We're here.
What the? A horse? Wait. Horse? Oh, it's Zelda! She looks like she's in trouble. What does she throw? Looks like something thrown in the water. Oh, okay. Well, something very important in. Oh my gosh! Who are you, Ganondorf? Rawr! I lost her! You! Over there! Little kid! You must have seen the white horse. Gavala passed just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! I'm not telling you nothing. So, you think you can protect them from me? You got guts, kid! Well, I got a sword and a shield. Don't mess with me, huh? You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. What the heck is he doing? Oh my gosh, oh, it looks- Oh my gosh, he beat the crap out of me. One shot. Pathetic look, fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world! Dude, man, just kicked my butt and now you're chasing? I kind of like Link's expression, right? Or is it like, like, dude, what is that guy? Like, dude. Far out. <laughs> I can't believe I said that word, far out. How often do I ever say that? But anyway, what you really want to do is Zelda pretty much throw something down in this water. We don't know what it is. And Navi's like, hey, you got to get it. Hey, you got to get it. So we're going to... Get this little booger. You found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family hidden treasure, which Zelda left behind and glows with mystical light. Clover, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Clover, can you hold this Ocarina in your hand? I won't be around anymore. I want to wait for you, but I couldn't delight any longer. At least I could then leave you with the ocarina of this melody. Oh, how sweet. Giving us uh, another ocarina. So, yeah. Let's let's place this on. This song opens the door of time. Wonder what that door of time is. You have learned the song of time. Now, Clover, play this melody in front of the altar of the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Triforce? They have all the time, and I... Uh, well, anyway, it looks like we're in big trouble and, and all. So, I'm going to actually end this video. So, in the next episode, I mean episode, um, are we going to go to the Temple of Time? Save the Triforce? See what happens on the altar? Or are we gonna do some more side quests? Who knows? Find out in the next episode, guys. Have a God blessed day, guys, and take care, y'all.